Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, and I have a rant for you today. But as you know, this is Rudy's Rant, where facts are over feelings. Think I'm getting used to that one? But we're we're, we're still ironing this. I got to find a way to phrase it properly. It can't just be that easy. But let's just jump right on in. Thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. Greatly appreciate you. When I did my video last night, I did not know what the ratings were for the Minnesota Lynx Connecticut Sun game five. I found out shortly thereafter because I couldn't find it online, but maybe it's because I wasn't looking hard enough or really I didn't care all that much. But I got to give the ladies of the Minnesota Lynx and the Connecticut Sun their flowers. They had a pretty good outcome in game five. I got to say, I'm, 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 I'm a bit surprised. I'm a bit surprised because I didn't think they'd draw flies to poop. But in all fairness, they did this. 984,000 viewers. You got to give them a round of applause, round of applause, round of applause. All right. Applause is done. Here's the thing. In the for the purposes of anything non Caitlin Clark related and non New York Liberty Las Vegas Aces related, this is actually really good. It's not a million viewers, but it's actually really good because if you actually look at the whole the, 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 the grand scope of it all, game four for the Aces and Liberty on ABC did 979. And I know a few last Tuesday. I think it was, it was either Tuesday or third, whatever day it was, they did 994. Now, most people are a lot more familiar with the Liberty and the Aces. This was also the, the battle of a rematch from last year's WNBA championship. A lot less people are familiar with the Connecticut Sun and the Minnesota Lynx. I mean, can you name a player besides Nafisa Collier on the Minnesota Lynx, realistically? Most people can't name more than one player on that team. Can you name anyone else besides Sabrina, Brianna, and John Quell? Most people couldn't name a fourth player on the New York Liberty. Really, they couldn't. I guess you could also name Kaylin McBride. I mean, I know the names of the players because I actually watch the stuff. But most people, the general average person who's watching the WNBA right now, has no idea who plays for any of these teams or a majority. Don't have any idea who the majority of the players are. Like, can you name the 12th player on that roster? No, I can't either. <laughs> but I can tell you who's the 12th man on the Miami Heat roster, or at least I could last year, as we don't have rosters yet for this season. But let's look at this number and then let's compare it to the fact that there were some other events that night. Other events, other events. And when you look at it from a perspective of when you look at that, a sport that people say is dead, Major League Baseball. Dodgers, Padres, 4.65 million people were watching the Dodgers and Padres on Tuesday. That was game three of their series. 4.65 million watched game three. A non-closeout game, a non-series determining game. Connecticut and Minnesota were playing a series-determining closeout winner-take-all. Winner moves on to the WNBA Finals. The Dodgers and Padres are playing a regular-ass game on FS1, no less, whereas the Lynx and, and uh, Sun were playing on ESPN2. And yet they're going to come here, and, and, and folks are going to sit here and say, I've, I've seen some other things where people have mentioned, well, you know, ESPN was cleared out for the – Stanley for the for the for hockey for the season opener. Now, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But let's be real. Hockey is not tremendously popular in the states, at least. It still isn't, even though there's most of the teams are in the states. 
It's not tremendously popular, but let's also remember this. I, I'm a Panthers fan. I didn't even know the season, the season started on Tuesday. I had no idea. I, I'm dead serious. I did not know until I popped on the team. I'm like, wait, is this a regular season game? Is this the regular season opener? I figured it was because I saw a buddy of mine post something where he was going to the game or whatever. But other than that, I, I didn't know that was a regular season opener. I thought they were still in the preseason. That's what the Panthers and Bruins did, 790000 on ESPN. Remember, this is South Florida. Most people here still, still don't know dick all about hockey. I, I could bet that probably um, you'd get a better number from, you know, if this was like the Rangers. Like, so if this was the Rangers playing or the, or uh, let me think of who else. If it was the Rangers, Bruins probably does better. But again, this is the season opener. This isn't a deciding playoff game. This is not a deciding playoff game. A better comparison to this, a closeout game, might be, I don't know, game seven of the Stanley Cup champion finals last year. Panthers and Oilers doing 7.7 7 million people, 7.7 7 million viewers. So when you talk about these numbers and you want to compare it to a regular season, first game this season, a hockey game that, in fact, I mean, it was the ESPN did such a disservice to the NHL that no one knew that uh, down here, most people had no idea it was a season opener. For example, the Miami Heat start their season on the 23rd. I know this because I have tickets and I tried to get season tickets to the Panthers this year. You couldn't get tickets. You could not get tickets. I will go to some games this year, but I tried to get season tickets and you couldn't get tickets where I wanted to sit. I don't want to sit on the roof. Like that, that I don't sit on the roof. That's like, yeah, bougie old me. I won't sit on the roof. So it's, I'd rather just go by individuals for certain games where I'm going to want to sit, where I'm comfortable sitting rather than, because I try to get these things called, they have the Corona club, which is like, um, it's like a sweet type thing. All you can eat type situation. When I go, that's where I'll go. Or I'll go to their other all you can eat area. But those cost a little bit more, more than I want to spend. Those are those are pretty damn expensive. All that said, that's what you might want to compare it to. Or you could you could compare it to this. The Florida Panthers and New York Rangers. That was game six. That wasn't the club, that wasn't a winner take all game seven. This was game six. Panthers won that series in six games. It's a little bit different, right? So when you, when you want to make comparisons, make comparisons the proper way. This is a comparison to what you saw. So it was three times better, three times. And I'm guessing that if they go to game five in the Liberty Lynx WNBA finals, people might care. People might watch it over a million. I don't think it'll draw a million in the entire series. But again, We'll see. We'll see. But I got to give them their flowers. I got to give them their kudos. I got to say congratulations. You did get 984,000. That's a nice night for a WNBA non-Indiana Fever, non-Liberty Aces. And considering the fact that they did 538 on Sunday in game four, and now they do this number in game five, congratulations. But let's talk about what they've also talked about now. Potentially going on strike? Are, are, are they really talking about going on strike? Potentially? Because they got a few people to watch a game that wasn't Caitlin Clark? I, 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 I'm, I'm flabbergasted by this. I, I'm flabbergasted. They, like, if, uh, is that what they're talking about? I don't know. I, I don't know how you can even have this conversation about potentially going on a strike when you don't generate revenue. I mean, I'm sorry, profit. When your league has lost money forever, how can you talk about a strike when you don't actually generate a profit? You want more money off of money that doesn't exist. Your salaries for this league are a loss. Like your your salaries, which aren't shit overall, are a loss for the league. So I, I think that's hilarious to hear that they would consider going on a strike next year. I, I've also said some, seen some stuff about not doing the 
all-star game, which I am, I'm going to do a little d- deeper dive into that nonsense. Cause I, that's a video all into itself, but can you imagine someone who has gets 984,000 viewers for a game five semifinals is sitting here talking about going on strike. That's bananas to me. I can't even understand that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm surprised this game did that well, but let's not compare a game one of the season to a game last game of a of a of a postseason best of five or best of seven. It's not the same thing. It's just not the same thing. Consider the fact that the NBA last season, 2023, 2023, 2024, the season opener, opening night, did 2.76 million viewers. Consider the fact that the NBA did 2.76 million viewers for the season opener. But when you look at the finals, it's doing 11, 12, 13 million people. And last year was a low number. It's done in the past 15, 20 million people. That's why you have to be realistic and completely factual. Remember, facts over feelings. That's how we work here. We use the entire comparison, not just the comparison that you want, the narrative that you're trying to spin to make something look good. That's the reality of the situation we got at hand right now. It's facts over feelings. And even if you go back a year earlier, 2022, 2023 season, that opener did 1.53 million. That's only double the NHL hockey. That's only double. And basketball is far more popular than hockey, right? So they went from 1.53 million to 2.76 million. And yet both those numbers are still better than game five of the WNBA playoffs. So, yeah, like I said, facts over feelings, man. Congratulations to the Minnesota Lynx and Connecticut Sun for drawing a few people. But let's pump the brakes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to pound that like button, subscribe, follow. And be sure to go over to Rudy's rant at Rudy's R-U-D-Y-S rant for our other page that we are building up. That's going to be nothing but rant related. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe to it. Appreciate you. Have a good one.